transformative change overturns old assumptions and unlocks unprecedented possibilities. Every step into the future takes a measure of courage, and the comfort of the familiar can become a temptation to hesitate or backslide. We have been here before, Kenyans, times without number. Many Kenyans were anxious about the prospects of the freedom struggle and doubted the capacity of our freedom fighters to defeat the formidable power of the empire. Some were afraid that what they saw as an uncertain future in an independent nation in contrast with the very real, if undesirable, present in an oppressive colony. Later, when challenging the single party monopoly, many worried that embracing democratic pluralism might destabilize the country and lead to state collapse. More recently, some hesitated as we took a leap of faith into a new dispensation, fearing that devolution could fragment the nation and that strong checks and balances might render the republic ungovernable. Despite these concerns, here we are, stronger than ever, facing the future with greater confidence and building a strong nation that is respected for its positive contribution, not just at home, not just regionally, but also globally. Independence, multi-party democracy, and our progressive constitution have made Kenya stronger, enabling our country to move forward and upwards, even in the midst of unprecedented challenges. What we have learned from Kenya's history of freedom struggle is this. We must not allow the fear of change to imprison us in the past. And we must have greater faith in our collective capacity to achieve inclusive transformation and usher in progress that leaves no one behind. I call on all Kenyans, I call on all Kenyans to have faith and a little patience. In matters of weeks, or in a matter of weeks, Shif will be serving us efficiently and making the dream of universal coverage come true. I am aware that during this transition period, employees of the former National Hospital Insurance Fund will be managed in accordance with the provisions of the Social Health Insurance Act of 2023. I want to assure all the former employees and those now serving under our new outfit that no one will lose their jobs and that I appreciate their dedication and service during this transition. We will make sure that everybody who has served in the former outfit is transitioned into the current outfit. We have implemented strong institutional and strategic measures to extend the impact of universal health coverage by developing the biomedical, pharmaceutical, and medical supplies production industries to enhance healthcare delivery and ensure the security of medical supplies, the government of Kenya is improving the overall supply chain, starting with capacity upgrades and the establishment of Kenya Medical Supplies Agency regional distribution centers in Kisumu, Mbakasi, and Mombasa. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kiswahili saying, Mgaga na upwa hali wali mkavu is an understated hint of the promise held by our blue economy. Because of the Indian Ocean, Kwale County and coastal region as a whole are bound with transformative opportunities of an immense magnitude. At present, the blue economy contributes 20 billion to the economy annually and is expected to increase to over 80 billion in five years. This transformation 
will create thousands of jobs and stimulate regional economy through increased investment in various